So today I've come out to try and get another sunset at uh, Burnham on Sea. There's a lovely little wooden lighthouse just up the coast. It's about a 10 15 minute walk. So the tide's in, which I was hoping it wasn't going to be. Um, I should have checked the tide times. There's a top tip for you. Check tide times if you come into the coast. I'm hoping I'll still get to the uh, lighthouse. We'll soon see when I turn the corner. Here's a little glimpse. Oh, we see the lighthouse, lovely. In the distance, probably just see it. Uh, beautiful little place. This is uh, absolutely fantastic. There's a big storm just obscuring the uh, sun. I don't know if you can pick it up on the GoPro. Should be pretty nice. I don't know if you can hear this with the wind, there's quite a breeze coming across the uh, the water. I'm going to try and set up, I'm going to try and get a couple of little reflection shots first before the tide comes in. Uh, there's a lot of wind and a lot of ripple on the water so there are a couple of pools just there. I'm going to try and get a few reflections and then as the sun drops it lights all that cloud up in the shower. There's two storms kick it off. Uh, I think I'm running down the coast, down the estuary, so hopefully I'm going to stay dry. Um, and I'm going to try, say, try and get some reflections first, then I'll try and set up as the sun drops down and lights all the cloud up. I may try a few different shots facing south, facing north, see if I can get the, uh, the sun to light the lighthouse if I can as well. Uh, let's go and have a go. Right up by the lighthouse now. Some lovely dark clouds, some big storms going off in the in the distance. I'm really hoping this is gonna light up. It should be spectacular. I'll show you me uh, the back of the camera, explain my composition here. Uh, just so we can pick it up on the GoPro. What I'm doing, quite a simple shot. Uh, just lining up the Lighthouse on the on the on the right hand line on the rule of thirds. Um, my settings are quite simple, F11. I'm shooting at uh, ISO 100. I mean aperture priority. I don't need to go in manual. Um, just letting the camera sort the shutter speed out. I will be bracketing when the sun comes out of out of from beyond the clouds. Uh, just because the dynamic range is going to go mental. Um, it is going to be really bright very shortly. I'm currently shooting this um, slightly overexposed, almost two stops, because uh, it is so dark with the sun behind the clouds. As I say, as soon as the sun comes out it will just shoot the other way and be really bright. I'll just talk you through my shot. I'm, uh, I'm bracketing uh, just literally one stop either side of zero, so I'm shooting at minus one stops for the sky, just, just literally exposing for the sky and plus one stop which is exposing for the lighthouse um, there's that much dynamic range here at the moment, it's just incredible, I don't need to bracket three stops three shots so I am literally just, I've chosen to do it manually I think it'll be easier to merge in Photoshop to blend the two together um, I think when the sun drops and it brightens up, then I may need to bracket three shots just for the, the mid-tones. But at the moment, the sky is looking spectacular. I think as soon as the sun does drop below this dark cloud, it will look really nice. Uh, I may, I'm going to try and get a sunburst, a sun star. Top tip for you there is, if you can get the sun to touch something, namely the horizon, maybe a tree, rocks, in this case it'll be the leg on the lighthouse. 
uh, you will get that sunburst. I usually stop down to F16 just to help it along a bit. It can look fantastic, especially if you can get between the legs on the lighthouse and get a big star shooting off there. It should be pretty good. I'll just work through and show you what's happening at minus one and plus one. This is the minus, this is the plus one shot, which is overexposed and exposed for the lighthouse. And then as I stop down, just minus one stop and I've got this lovely dark sky. It looks fantastic, it should blend really nice. I just want to show you what's happening with the water now, with the sun coming down. The cloud unfortunately is following the sun, so I'm hoping that the sun will still break through. We've got 20 minutes to sunset. Um, and hopefully the cloud, you know, it should, it should light, it's lighting up beautiful now. But what I'm liking now is all the orange glows on the water. Um, if I'm just underexposed slightly, there, um, all down there, this orange in the water is looking incredible. Earlier it was bright purple, like an electric purple, it was fantastic. Uh, you will see on the photos later on just how purple it was and now we have like a purpley orange sheen to it now it looks looks brilliant the waves are nice I was going to put a, a three stop filter on just to smooth the water a bit but I'm, lo I'm loving the orange on the ripples so I'm leaving the filters off the sun it looks like it's just trying to break through now so I'm out to move around shortly just to try and get this sun burst uh, you may just see it happening slightly on one of the legs. Okay, final shots. Uh, the sun's gone down. It's uh, some nice little bits of orange and pink in the sky. It's a shame that the uh, shower cloud followed the sun over. Uh, would have been great if that would have lit up, but it's story of your life, isn't it? Sunsets are so unpredictable, you can look fantastic one minute, die the next. Um, I've had a good time, got some nice shots. So, I'm going to have you walk back to the car and I should put these on shortly. Well, I had set, I had packed up and then the tide just started to uh, run out and we've got this lovely reflection. Don't know if you can see it on this, you'll see it on the photos. The reflection there is so calm, absolutely fantastic. It was well worth waiting, literally 10 extra minutes, 15 minutes. It is going dark now though, so I don't know if you'll see me on this uh, video clip. So if you like the content, if you like the, the, the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe. It just helps me to make more videos. I'll catch you soon and I'll put the photos on there. See you later.